Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here. So today, a new Redskins uh, Trent Williams trade scenario came up. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into it. So like I said, a new Redskins Trent Williams rumor, and obviously it's just a rumor, but it's been floated out there by Peter King and a few others. Uh, but the trade would be with the Vikings, who obviously would like an upgrade at left tackle. So the trade would be the Redskins would trade Trent Williams to the Vikings for the 112th pick, 132nd pick, and 151st pick. So that is uh, two fourth round picks and a very early fifth round pick. So obviously not necessarily the compensation we would look. Oh, and Riley Reef, not necessarily the compensation we would look for. But it, if you really look into it, it's not that bad. So 112th pick is a little later um, in the fourth round and 132nd is almost one of the last picks but it's before our uh, second fourth round pick that we have this year but we get the fifth round pick too and Riley Reef, who is a decent he's like an above average left tackle who is way better than anything we have right now obviously we do have Trent Williams but he's I'm um, taking into account like he's not on our team and uh, I'm just moving on with that. So right now, besides Trent Williams, we have no one else on the roster. Really, that could be an okay left tackle. And okay is much better than what we had last year. Donald Penn wasn't terrible, but he, he also wasn't great either. He was below average. And I think Riley Reef is average to above average. And his price is a little high. It's $11 million. And I'll show you what we uh, what the trade would look like in a bit um, on Spot Track. But we would still save a little bit, 1.5 mil about, in cap space. And getting three more mid-round picks for Cal Smith to uh, get some, get his hands on and draft some more late-round gems is amazing because, as you've seen, he, I mean, Terry McClone was a third-round pick, but still that's a middle-round pick. He also got Cole Holcomb last year, Kelvin Harmon. A lot of these guys he's helped get. And you also get Riley Reef, who can help Dwayne Haskins out a lot because, right, like I said, he's an above average left tackle and he's still relatively young. So I think it would be a decent trade. Really hope we could get a second or a third round pick. But if we couldn't, or not just a third round pick, a third and a uh, player, but if we couldn't get any of those uh, scenarios, I think this scenario isn't that bad. If you look um, at the trade scenario, so I'll read um, what this article said. So, um, Redskins will work with teams towards a creative compensation package uh, to trade Trent Williams as long as the total compensation gets to a second round value. Based on the draft value chart, which is a value of all the picks, an average second round pick carries a value of 420 points. The pick that Minnesota would be sending to Washington in this trade uh, combined for 140 points and the difference of nearly 300 points would be offset by Reef. So you see the value there. The points don't add up totally to obviously don't come close to 420, but we also end up getting Riley Reef, who is an above average starter. And if you get someone like Riley Reef, if you draft someone like him in the second or third round, you would be happy with how he turned out. Obviously, got a long term deal in the NFL and is a decent starter in the league. And that's what you want out of your left tackle. Uh, and that would definitely help out Haskins a lot. And if you think about it, that would make, uh, eliminate the need for an early uh, tackle selection, like third round. You wouldn't need to get a tackle in the third round and probably wouldn't need to get a tackle until the late fourth round pick with her either 142nd pick or 132 with this new pick. And, or not 132. Yeah, 132. But this would give us an opportunity to maybe draft a wide receiver in the third round and then maybe draft a, f a tight end with our early fourth round pick, and uh, we could draft another in the uh, another tight end in the fourth, or get a fifth round tight end because we do need a lot of tight ends, and there's a lot of sleeper tight ends in this draft, which I will be I'm, I'm making a video on ten sleeper players we can draft this year, and that'll be a good video, so stay tuned for that. And there's a couple really good tight ends there that we could end up getting in the fifth, sixth, and uh, later rounds. So I think. This wouldn't be a bad deal, in my opinion. If if we were to get it, it would give us our starting left tackle for this season and also give us 
give Kyle Smith and Ron Rivera a couple more picks to work with to possibly get uh, some late round gems like Kyle Smith has got, uh, done in the past. And like I said, there's a few players that we could draft in that position. Uh, Michael Pittman in the third round, that's probably, uh, he's not going to slip past that. But in the fourth round, some players that could still be there with these picks. You got Thaddeus Moss, Albert O, um, possibly Adam Troutman, all those, Harrison Bryant, maybe even Hunter Bryant, all those tight ends could be available in that fourth round range. And we could possibly get them with these picks. And you got a lot of good cornerbacks, Lamar Jackson, maybe in the fourth, fifth round. And offensive tackle, maybe Sadiq Charles is still available there. And you can take him with an early fourth round pick and not worry about not being able to get a tight end. So that's that's just what I think. This gives us so much more, um, obviously, draft picks. And it gives us so much more flexibility because we're able to draft uh, a lot more different players and we not needing to draft another tackle early because we got a left tackle in Riley Reef and we could maybe use uh, a late round pick to become a backup or to possibly uh, take Morgan Moses's spot. So now I'm going to be showing you guys how it would work in a trade scenario, how it would uh, affect the cap. So right now, we have roughly around $26 million in cap space, give or take a million or two. So if we go ahead and trade Chunt Williams, who has a $14.5 million cap hit this year if he stays on the team, if we trade him, we save $12.5 million in cap space. So if you go and trade him to the Minnesota Vikings, um, sorry, I scroll past that, they would be giving us Riley Reef. And obviously those other couple round picks. So it would save us about $1.5 million. And we would be getting a solid left tackle who is on the books for this year and next year. So we'd still have time to give him an extension. And he's still young. And I think a lot of Vikings fans, I mean, I've heard from a lot of them that think he's decent to above average. Some of them that he th that thinks he's worse, they just don't like the number because he is paid a pretty good amount of money. But overall, I think this trade would not be bad. I would obviously probably like a second round pick. I mean, who wouldn't? If we got a second round pick, we could. there's so many possibilities we could get there. First of all, we could get one of those tackles that slip to the second round. Like or maybe one of those first round tackles that slip. Maybe like Isaiah Wilson, uh, Austin Jackson. One of those guys we could get. Uh, Riley Reef is 31 years old, so he's kind of on the older side birthdays on december 1st so still a while until he hits that 32 spot but we'd keep him for another two years but not a long long term deal but you know left tackles usually play until they're older you got jason peters and andrew whitworth who are both above 37 years old and are still playing at an not an elite level but a good solid level so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I think this would not be a bad trade at all. Just, I would try to slide in, maybe get um, a third and a fourth for Reef. If we got a third and a fourth for Reef, maybe a late third round pick and a fifth and like a seventh for Reef, I think that would be amazing. So I'll go through some other scenarios. Obviously, you got instead of Reef, it could be uh, Anthony Harris. And there's a couple other scenarios with the Vikings, like obviously just a straight, um, just a straight second round pick. That would be good because their second round pick is a late second round pick, so that would be fair. And then you can go, like I said, you go to the Chargers. They can give us. There's a couple of players that I would be interested in, Hunter Henry, but I do not think they would be willing to give them up. And they've got some good corners, D tackle. They just signed Brian Bulaga, so they obviously can't give him up. And Russell Okun just got traded. So, And, like I said earlier, Desmond King in my last video, or a couple videos ago, could be on the move. That's another trade scenario. And I'll go through one more. And that is, of course, the Cleveland Browns. They've been rumored to us for over a year. And I think you either go, I don't think Odell Beckham is a possibility. Really don't think they're going to trade him. But you could go for David Njoku, who they say that they still want. But I think David Njoku to the Redskins 
would make perfect sense because they already got Austin Hooper and they do need a left tackle to help out Baker Mayfield. They did sign Jack Conklin, but getting Trent Williams would honestly bring them to probably minimum playoffs this year if they don't screw it up like they did last year. And Njoku is a solid young tight end for the Redskins to um, develop. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for live stream either tomorrow or the next day. And I also will be posting the 10 draft um steals that we could get in the later rounds so peace